everybody and welcome to Mike's Movies. Now today I'm going to show you a little how-to video on slowing down a remote controlled tank such as this one. I've had this one since around about 2001, 2002. In fact it was my first remote controlled tank. Uh, it's always been far too fast. Good fun but not particularly realistic and it looks absolutely horrible as you can see in the video. Now what you're going to need is a soldering iron some electrical diodes. These are basically one-way electrical valves that allow current to flow in one direction only and they also reduce the voltage by 0.6 of a volt. And it's this effect that we want today. By putting the diodes back to back as you can see here means that the current can flow in both directions for your forward and reverse gears on your tank. You also need one diode set per positive and minus feed to your motors. So you're going to need a total of four diodes. You can obtain these diodes from various places online or at high street shops such as Maplin's or Radio Shack. You need to make sure that the diode can handle the current that your battery and tank will draw. 1N4007 should be adequate for most things. But do make sure that if you have a larger tank such as a 1 16th which I have done this modification on before that the current is not going to be more than diode can handle. Carefully cut the feed wires to your motors making sure you remember which colour goes to which. In this case I've replaced the motor set so the colours don't actually correspond. Then solder in a pair of diodes into each feed wire as seen here. Finally, make sure that they're carefully uh, fixed so that they can't shake around and cause any electrical shorts. I used hot melt glue. OK, let's take the tank for a test and see how it runs. So it's certainly much more controllable than it was. Still a bit too fast, but this is never going to be good as proper proportional control. But it is a very simple and cheap way to slow down your, your basic model tank and uh, get a little bit more enjoyment out of it. Hope this was helpful. Stay tuned to this channel for more on the tanks very soon.